In the last video, we talked about removing admin menu items. In this video, we're going to talk about removing the items that are at the top of the admin bar on the front of the website and on the back of the website in the WordPress admin. So you've installed some plugins and they've got stuff that they put up in the admin bar that you don't want customers to see or other people to see that have access to the website through the WP admin or even on the front of the site if they're editing pages. So in this video I want to show you guys how to remove the items from the admin bar at the top of the page and even remove the admin bar completely from the front of the website because I think that's important. It, I do that whenever I'm doing development is I will remove the admin bar from the front of the website so that I don't, so that it doesn't show and it, I can see what the website's gonna look like live, right? So let's get started. So here on our ideapro.io site that we do testing and plugins, we're on the dashboard and then we have the site open and this is using the 2021 default theme. So we're gonna create a new plugin. So we're gonna to go to our text editor here. We're gonna to go to the plugins folder and we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it Idea Pro Remove Admin Bar Items. Okay, then I'm gonna copy this. So we're gonna hit enter. So it's gonna create that new folder here in our plugins. Then we're gonna to come to this folder and we're gonna create a new file. And we're gonna save that file as that same name.php. Okay, hit save. All right, so here at the top, we're gonna to open up some PHP tags and we're gonna open up some comments and we're gonna say plugin name, idea pro remove admin bar items. And then the description, remove items from, whoops, from the admin bar, okay? All right, so now we're gonna close out that comment there. And so here we're going to write a function. So we're going to say idea pro remove admin bar items. And that function can be any name that you want to call it, but you want it to be unique for your site or um, the plugin that you're building and make sure it doesn't conflict with other uh, plugin or other functions in the site. So here in the function, um, items that we're going to call in, we're going to do the WP admin bar. All right. And so down underneath this function, we're going to say add action. And this first attribute here is going to be the admin bar menu. Okay. And then the second one is going to be our callback. So we're going to do a callback here. And then our third attribute that we're going to put in here is a um, the, the priority that we want this to call. Do we want to call early? Do we want to call late? I would say on this, we want it to call as late as possible. So we might use something like 800 or something in here, just something that's way past anything anybody would probably put in. But there is a issue with this function and I'll talk about that here in just a few minutes, okay? So then, we're going to save this. We're going to upload it to the site, however you need to do that. Come over to plugins and here is our idea pro remove admin bar items. We're going to activate it. Okay. So now we have everything up here at the top. Of course, this site, we don't have any plugins um, installed other than the uh, Akismet and the Hello Dolly, but neither one of those are active. Not sure that either one of those even put something up here in the admin bar. But even if they did, um, you could remove it with this same steps, okay? All right, so now back over here in our code, our function doesn't do anything because it's blank inside. So inside of here, this WP admin bar here that we're calling in is an object of the items that are in the admin bar. And so inside of that WP object we have, so let's do WP admin, bar. 
there's a method called remove node. Okay. Now, so what this remove node does is it finds the ID and removes that item by its ID. Okay. So we're going to come over here and we're going to look at, let's say this plus new here. We're going to inspect this in the inspector and I'm going to zoom in on my inspector here so you guys can see it. Now what we're looking for is the list item for this, um, for this item in the bar. So right here it is, it says WP admin bar new content. Now what's confusing is, is this whole entire ID is WP hyphen admin hyphen bar hyphen new hyphen content. Now if we copy that and we come over and we paste that here and save it and we come over and we refresh this page, new is still up there. And the reason why is because WordPress ignores the WP admin bar section here. So this WP hyphen admin hyphen bar hyphen, it, it ignores. So you don't want to add that in there. So we want to take that out. And the only part that we want is new content. So now if we save that and come over and refresh this page, now that new button is gone. Same thing if we want to remove the comments piece here. We look for the list item. Here it is, WP hyphen admin hyphen bar hyphen comments. So everything after this bar hyphen. So the only thing that we want to put in is comments. So we come over here and we do, whoops, not a control F. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna take this and put in comments, save. We're gonna come over and we're gonna refresh. And now that is gone. Of course, you can do that even with you know, each piece over here. So if you inspect this, get the list item, and this is WP admin bar, my hyphen account. So we can come in and do a my hyphen account, save that, come over and refresh. And now even that part is missing. So, and we can do that with each piece. So let's do the WordPress logo here. So let's come up, we get the, ID here is WP admin bar WP hyphen logo. So we're going to do another one here. WP hyphen logo. So we're going to save that, come over and we're going to refresh and now the logo is gone. And you can even do that with this here. Now, each so any plugin that you install should have an ID that is in the admin bar like that. The one issue is, is some plugins use jQuery to put that item in the admin bar. If they do that, that means the jQuery more than likely loads after the PHP has rendered the page before it even submits it to you. Because PHP runs on the server side. JavaScript and jQuery is a client side. So in the background, when you load the WP admin with PHP, the server gets all the PHP information, puts the page together, and then loads that page. Now, if a plugin is using jQuery or JavaScript to put in the admin menu item, admin bar menu item, it's going to more than likely do that after everything is already loaded. So your function that you make that removes that item is not going to work because after your functions ran, then the JavaScript runs and adds that into the admin bar. So the only way to do to fix that would be to use your own JavaScript like I did in the last video removing the admin menu bar or admin menu item using jQuery. And you may even have to do a um, jQuery deferred so that it's the last thing that loads on the site. And I'll show you guys how to do that really quick. So let's say that, um, where am I at here? There we go. So let's say that my account loads like that. So we're gonna comment this one out and we're gonna refresh the page and my account is loaded back here, okay? So if we use jQuery, let's 
inspect this again. If we use jQuery to get rid of this menu, this item up here, which is the my account item, we're going to need to use the entire ID. All right, so let's go over the code and let's do that. Let's do a function idea pro remove admin bar items, and then we're going to say JS for JavaScript. Okay. So then we're going to do an add action and we're going to say admin footer and it's going, our callback is going to be this here and we're going to close these. Now this is not, again, this is not the right way to do a JavaScript. It's better to do it as a um, in Qt. I've made videos about that. Um, if I haven't, I think I have, if I haven't, I will make a video about that. The best way to do it is to create a JavaScript file and enqueue that JavaScript file. But for this example, I'm just going to print it straight to the page. Okay. So here in the script, we're going to do a jQuery dot, and we can do this a couple of different ways. We could use the remove jQuery, or we could just do a CSS, um, call. Okay. So now the admin bar menu item that we want to remove is this entire thing. Whoops. So let's copy that. Come over here and we're going to do two double quotes, a hash symbol for ID. And then we're going to paste that um, ID in there. Again, we're using the full WP admin bar, my account, the full thing in there. And then in here, we're going to say display and then do a none. If we've done that right, every it should remove the my account from the page. We're going to refresh. And now that my account is gone. So if you have a plugin that you've installed, that is, you're not able to do it with using this by the ID, that's more than likely because they're adding it with JavaScript um, after the fact the page is loaded. So you would need to do it with a, um, with jQuery like this using the full ID to remove it. Now, what we didn't do here is we didn't do a deferred JavaScript. So if it's loading after even this is running, then it's still going to show up. So the way you would want to do a deferred JavaScript is you could do, you know, your script tag, and then SRC and you would need to do whoops, SRC and you would need to put in the, you know, the location of your website, right? Idea pro, um, public HTML, whatever, you know, the location of that, um, JavaScript file using actually URL. So it'd be idea pro dot IO slash blah, 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 you know, the full URL of the, uh, JavaScript file. So you'd say js.js, whatever your JavaScript file. And then we'd say defer is equal to defer. Now what that's going to do is it's going to wait till everything else in the entire site is loaded and then it's going to run that JavaScript. Now the plugin that you can't get to remove may also use defer. So you kind of need to look and see what they're doing on their JavaScript to call that to see where you can put it and see if you can even put it farther down because you could do a um, a priority here of 800 or something like that so that hopefully your JavaScript would fire after that plugin's JavaScript would fire. Okay, so I'm going to take this back out. Whoops. So I'm going to leave the JavaScript that we used here on the plugin. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to come back up here because now there's a, something else that we want to do. So let's say that on the front of the website, we're going to save this. So let's get rid of our inspector here. So now we're going to refresh and we've removed, you know, a lot of the items from here, right? We've removed the, my account using jQuery up here and we're going to turn this off down here. And the way we can turn that off is just turn off the add action there. Okay. So now we refresh here. My account is back, right? Because we have it turned on 
or we have it this function not running and we have it commented out up here if that makes sense okay so now what we've done is we removed these items from the WP admin and it also removes them from the front of the website so we're on the front of the website if we refresh everything is gone and you see that we have a customized link here that is for the theme customization so we say oh nope we want to remove that too so let's go back to the inspector here is the li wp admin bar hyphen customize so we want to come back over here we want to do another one of these and say customize whoops like that Come back over here and refresh and now that is gone so you want to check the front of the website to make sure that those items are gone too now what if you only want it to be removed from the front of the website and you don't want it to be removed from the admin area of the website or vice versa so the way we can do that is we can say if not is admin so is admin is a wordpress function that says whether you're on the admin or not so we're going to create that there and we're going to do that and we're going to hit save and we're going to come over and we're going to refresh the page and all those items are gone now if we come back into the wordpress admin and we refresh those page these items are back the comments and the new are back onto the page so now they're gone from the front of the website and they're now back on the admin side. Now vice versa, if we want to remove it from admin but not the front of the website, we can turn that off. And now the function says, if is admin, remove those items. So we're gonna come back over here, we're gonna refresh, and now those items are gone. If we come back to the front of the website and refresh, those items are back. So that's how you remove it from the um, back end and not the front end or the front end and not the back end. Okay, so the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna say, you know what? We want to completely just get rid of this item bar on the front of the website. I do this a lot because I think it's ugly. I think when you're looking at the website, you wanna see the website and not that admin bar. What's handy about it is, is when you're on a page and it's a really large site that has 60, 70, 80 pages or more, you can go to that page probably quicker on the front of the website than, on, than trying to find it in the admin section. So you go to that page on the website and then go up there and uh, click edit and it takes you straight into the editor of that page. So that part is handy. Now, you come up here if you wanna remove it from the entire site and you say show admin bar and you can say false don't need any double quotes we just say false okay so we can come over and refresh and now the admin bar is completely gone from the front of the website now that doesn't work on the admin section back here um, we could remove this entire bar I wouldn't recommend it it's always good to have you know just maybe even the link to the front of the website up here um, and keep the my account section over here so that you can log out right um, so that's how you remove the bar from the front and if you want it to show back you can put true come back over and refresh the page and now it's back now you can also do that per post type so if we did that we could say so let's come in and we can add a function here whoops if i spell it right function and we're going to say idea pro remove admin bar by post type that's a really long function but it doesn't really matter so add action and this action is going to be a wp head okay and then we're going to use our callback here and we're going to put in show admin bar and we're going to just say false for right now we're going to remove it from up here we don't want those both in there 
And so we're going to come back over here and we're going to refresh the page. And now that uh, admin bar is gone for the entire site. But we can come in here and say, um, let's do a global post. Okay. So then if we showed what that, if we looked at what that post object is, we would have in there the post type. So we can say if dollar sign post post type is equal to post. Put that in there. So we come back over here and we refresh and it's gone. Now if we say true, just to show you that that is working and refresh, now it's back. Okay. So we, I know this is, you know, the hello world. This is the default post in the, in the site. Now, if we come in here and we said, let's turn this to false, save it, come back over here and refresh just to show you guys that it is working. So it's removed that. Now, if we say this is page and save, we come back over here and refresh. It's going to show that admin bar because this page is actual post and not a page. And let's do a, I'll show you really quick. So we're going to do a show array. So this is my pre-formatted uh, sublime snippet that prints out the array so I can see what the array looks like. So we're going to say post. So I'll refresh that. So let's close this. So here is the pre, the full post item. And if we look here, we have post type is equal to post. So that I know that it's a post and this shows me that it is a post. So, and we're telling it to show the admin bar um, for everything except for page. But if it's a page to not show it. So if we, again, we change this back to post, save and come back and refresh. Now the admin bar is gone because this is a post. Hope that makes sense. Um, and you could do that on the JavaScript side down here too. You could wrap this whole section if, you know, is admin or if it's a post or if it's a page. So you could do specific like that. Now you could even do that per user. So let's say we wanted to, let's remove this. Let's say, let's leave it on for everybody here. True, that way it loads no matter what. So now the admin bar is, is back. So now let's say that we have, this is admin, we're gonna comment this out. And save, we're gonna come back over here to the admin and refresh. Oh, cause we're removing it for everyone now. Um, so we can even take out the my account part just for the fun of it. Um, so now my account is removed, okay? So now the only thing we have at the top up here is the link to the front of the website. So now let's say we only want to do it by the user ID. So we'll come back over here. We're going to call in the global current user. Okay. And then we're going to say if dollar sign current user ID is equal to four, right? If four is a, is a bad guy, he doesn't, he messes everything up. We're going to remove everything for him. So we're going to come back over here and refresh. And for me, everything is there, but for user four, everything is gone. My user ID is two. So if we say, all right, two, you've been bad too. So let's change that to a two. We're coming back over here and we're going to refresh the page and those items are gone. So you can do it by user ID. You can buy it, do it by post type. You could do it by, um, is admin, um, same thing up in this function. It's the same thing as the, um, this one here showing the full admin bar. If up here you wanted to do it by post type, you could do the same thing. You could call in the post and you could say, Let's take this. We're going to turn this one off. All right. We'll leave that one down there for that closing if statement there. If not is admin, right? So now we're in the admin section. 
it, everything is on. But if we come over here and we refresh, all that stuff is gone. Now we could say inside of here, if dollar sign post, post type is equal to post. And we can copy all this. And we can bring it up here and paste it in there. All right, let's clean up some of this. Let's get rid of some of this junk here. Okay, so now we have, if it's not the admin, and if post type is equal to post, we're gonna remove all that. All right, so we come back over here and we refresh, everything is gone. If we say, but we want it to show for posts, but not for page. Okay, and we come back over here and refresh, now those items are back. So you can do it by user ID is admin or not is admin. Um, you can do it by the post type. Um, you could do it by the post date. You could do it by the post title. You could do it by the post ID. So this ID here is, let's show that post again. Let's do show array post. Come back over here and refresh. This post ID is, is the first one because that's default for WordPress. So let's get rid of that. And we can say post ID is equal to and one. So you could do it even by post ID. So if we refresh the page, now those are gone. If we said, oh, we only wanna do it for post ID of two. Save, come back over here and refresh. Now that's showing up because this is not um, the first post. I mean, this is not the second post, it's the first post. So I hope that video helps you guys um, remove admin bar items from the front of the website or the back end of the website. Um, if there's a video that I'm, or something that I'm not mentioning in this video, let me know. Uh, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.